Hi, we're David and Marcy Lynn aboard our sailboat Nine of Cups and we're currently berthed in Adelaide, South Australia. Following is the first of a series of three videos David has put together demonstrating the soldering of electronic components. This segment addresses the proper tinning of the soldering iron. We hope you find it helpful. This is a very short video to show you how I tin the tip of a soldering iron. Most soldering iron tips have a core of copper and are plated with iron. When you heat the iron up, the tip oxidizes. This prevents the transfer of heat from the copper core to the joint you're soldering. I'm using a very fine tip in my iron and you can see it is dull and somewhat oxidized. When you tin the tip, you coat it with solder, which prevents it from oxidizing and makes the heat transfer more efficient. I'm using a very inexpensive temperature controlled iron. I've set the temperature about two-thirds of full scale and I'm waiting for it to heat up enough to melt the solder. Tinning the soldering tip is not difficult. All I will do is melt a lot of solder in the tip and wipe it off. If the tip is new or heavily oxidized, I'll have to repeat this a number of times until the tip is shiny on all sides. To wipe it off, I use a damp, clean rag. Some people prefer to use a damp sponge. This works as well, but I just prefer using a rag. I will just continue to melt solder in the tip and wipe it off until the tip looks good. Don't be tempted to sand or file the tip. The iron plating is quite thin and if you file through to the copper the tip will be ruined. It's starting to look a bit better now. And now it's looking pretty good. It's shiny all the way around and I think it's ready to use. Find more how-to information and travel videos on our blog site at www.justalittlefurther.com or on our website at www.nineofcups.com.